Okay, we can. No, 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 no. Okay, tornado. <laughs> this game is so much fun. What's up, guys, and welcome to Cuphead, a game that probably doesn't need any introduction at this point. Like, a lot of people, myself included, have been anticipating this game for over five years now, I want to say. If you haven't seen it before, it's in the style of a 1930s cartoon. That's really all you need to know about it. Like, visually, it is super unique, super charming. The gameplay is apparently rage-inducing and really difficult. So I figured that's probably a great combination to share with you guys. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. Ooh, we're getting a little story time to start us off. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another w way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Y yes, please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Oh my god, like, even the loading screen is adorable. This game is charming and I haven't even played it yet. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor's friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Of course they would, why wouldn't they? Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. Have you just been holding that inside yourself all these years? I don't think I really want to drink that. It will give you the most remarkable magic abilities. Never mind, I'll take it. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Okay, uh, thank you, old man. Oh, it's a tutorial. Yeah, I should probably do that. Uh, just give me a second. Controls seem easy enough. Oh my god, look at this game. <laughs> I can't, whoa. It's a little apple man. Hello. Hey, fellas, look like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. I was getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Woo, you received three gold coins. Thanks, mister. I was about to make fun of you for having a fruit for your head. I mean, who would do that? It's such a stupid idea. So thanks to Johnny Appleseed over there, we now have four coins. I could probably go to the shop and buy something, but I don't really know what I need yet because I haven't actually played a level. So let's play a level. We have Forest Follies where we can potentially get five more coins. Okay. It's a run and gun level. I haven't done any running. I haven't done any gunning. Run and gun. Okay, here we go. We're running. We're gunning the terrifying little flower men. <laughs> Look at the little animation when they pop. Oh my, this is gonna be an entire playthrough of me just saying, look how amazing everything looks because this game is so freaking charming. I can't get over it. I need more games that look like this. The story of this game is actually really interesting. The developers, like, it's just two people. 
it's a pair of brothers that made the entire game, I'm pretty sure, and they've been developing it for like seven years, I'm pretty sure. Like, they've spent a huge part of their life making it, they've invested their life savings into it, and now it's a big success. It's it's just such a great story to see, and it's such a cool freaking game. I can't get over how this looks. I, I like obviously I didn't grow up in the 30s, but I still watched these cartoons growing up. I feel like most people did. Okay. And yeah, this is only the first level, and you only get three lives. I now have two left. I don't know. Oh, if the angry acorn. Okay. Can I get that? Go away, acorn. Eh. I don't know if I can get that. Do I need to jump on you? How do I get that coin? Oh, okay. Yeah, we just gotta take a hit. All right. Worth it. Worth it. Uh, worth it. If we don't die, don't die. Don't run and gun. We need to be running to gun. Uh, jump and then. Whoa. I don't remember the controls all that well either. Please die. Are we good? We're getting coins and... Oh crap, no! First level and we're dead. And we were pretty close. Let's try that again. I love that the sound of me shooting is kind of like finger snapping to the music. It actually matches the rhythm, which is great. Whoa, what, what acorn machine? What do you mean acorn machine? What are you doing? Stop that. Stop making acorns. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. No, we're, we're, no. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. This is only the first level. Cut me some slack. <laughs> I need to get that little blue guy, and he's gonna get back up, isn't he? So, oh crap. New, 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 new. I want that coin. Do we get all the coins? I think there's only four. Oh, new! No. Good God. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I only died once on the first level. It's gonna be that kind of game. How did we do? That, that must have taken me at least a couple of minutes, I assume. Yeah, okay. Probably not great. HP bonus, mm-hmm, gold coins. Skill level two, grade of B. B is a pass, Bs get degrees. I did it! Whoa! Okay, so now we can go over there. We got nine coins, let's go to the shop. I need to start buying some stuff. Fort Grinds Emporium. Okay. Oh my god. It's like Porky the Pig joined a gang and lost an eye in prison. <laughs> what can we buy from you, Chaser? A uh, long range with below average damage, no aiming required. Yeah, I like the fact that I don't need to aim. Uh, adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. So they all have drawbacks? Spread short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. So it's like a shotgun. Smoke bomb. You will not take damage during a dash, a great defensive maneuver. That doesn't have any drawback, I should get that. Roundabout, great coverage with average damage, aim backward for maximum range. All right, I want this thing. Oh, and it replaced it with the uh, sugar. The first parry move is automatic, all you need to do is jump. Sure, why not? What else you got for me? Coffee, super meter continuously fills in addition to what you earn. Oh, right, there's super attacks in that. All right, I'll take some coffee. Sure, why not? And now we got some other stuff, I can't afford that. Thank, thank you, goodbye. You gots to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. <laughs> okay, thank you, pork rind. Uh, oh, okay. So we have a secondary shot, a primary shot, which is a pea shooter. We have our super and our charm. So I don't actually have a super yet, but my charm can be, oh, I can only pick one of them. I bought three charms. Come on. <laughs> okay, uh, I kind of like smoke bomb. Right, you'll not take damage during a dash? We'll give that a try. I'm sure some of you probably remember growing up and seeing the really early episodes of Dragon Ball Z, where there'll be one mountain in the distance that looks completely different to all of the other ones, and you knew that's the mountain that Krillin is gonna get thrown through or blown up on or something like that. So this tree, something's fishy going on over here. Ruse of an ooze. Simple or regular? Oh, we'll, we'll challenge the ooze at regular. I don't even know what that means, but I'll, I'll take on anything. I'm Cuphead. I'm gonna haul up my pants. Ready? Wallop. Wallop. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's a boss battle. That's cool. Oh, oh. my dash is different, right? That's my... Oh, crap. Okay. My my new ability that I purchased. I blink now. I've become Tracer Cuphead. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I love it. Okay, so we just need to not get hit by him. 
Nope, gonna keep our distance, gonna wallop. Nope, can't reach me from there. No, nope, that's not good. Right, you're, not, you're not supposed to wallop people in cartoons anymore. You're also not supposed to take uh, uh, steroids. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's against what kids are supposed to be watching now. All right. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I blinked right into him. You're not supposed to punch either. You can't do anything cool in cartoons anymore. Everybody knows that. I, no, I can't, I can't get a shot off. He's just, he's unstoppable. Okay, no, I should be good over here. There we go. We're, we're walloping. We're doing great. Oh, I also have my uh, my alt charging up from doing damage, I think. I don't remember the alt button. Oh, that's it. That That's the alt button. No! Oh, come on! He's getting on the roids again. He's getting charged up, and it means I need to get really close to him if I want to blink to the other side because he's so freaking big. Okay, there we go. You, you punch, and then you can have all that. Uh -huh, okay. No, no. I just need to dodge. That's all I need to focus on right now. He's actually really challenging. How is the first boss of a game so freaking hard? I don't even know if he's technically a boss. Like, don't the bosses come at the end of le no levels? I was safe where I was. Oh, oh, yes. Suck it. I got him. Eh, suck on that. He's dead. We did it. No, no, what? How do I kill you? No. Oh, oh, I see. You're, you're gonna be like that, huh? Okay, okay, that's cool. Fighting me in death. I, I see how it is. Not gonna happen. I, I can shoot you however I, I need to. <laughs> we got this, we got this. He's already dead, I'll kill him again. He's got no secrets left. What do you mean a third form? Like, I don't get why. A knockout. <laughs> There's no fourth form, please. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Ooh, that that was difficult. Let's see, can I can I get an A? I, I beat him, school level, right? Look at look, uh, C plus. Oh come on, I want this regraded. Wee! <laughs> what? Are the, oh, I got stairs. Okay. A uh, soul contract, Goopy Legrand, the Devil's Office. Oh right. So that's one of the souls that I needed to get. Interesting, so that lets me go up here to talk to whatever you are. Looks like a little watering can? What that, you two wanna fly in a plane like I do? Ha! Ah, you're not sitting in any cockpit till you study those blueprints. Okay, aeroplane blueprint. Oh cool, so eventually I will get a plane and uh, this is just a tutorial. So we can shoot, we can special, we can parry, and we can shrink? Mr. Canteen, does that mean I get to go on a plane now? Threatening Zeppelin. Simple or regular? Okay, we'll go with regular. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean this is another boss? No, I'm not ready for another boss. <laughs> I only just beat the last one. What are you? You're like a... Actually, you're not even a woman, you're, or a plane. You're like a plane, unicycle, woman, weather main blimp. Okay, good to know. You like to do that, huh? Oh, and you're also a bull, and oh, that was sweet. Okay, so I can send out some kind of crazy ultimate attack in uh, a torpedo. I just need to dodge all your pokey bits, please. How, okay, there you go. So how does the parry work? I guess that's probably similar to my dodge. Oh, she's laughing at me. Don't laugh at me. I'm gonna send a rocket right down your teats. Ah! Uh, so, can't dodge tornadoes. Good to know. Got about halfway there. Let's try again. So I don't necessarily need to know what she is. I just need to get her attacks down. So she laughs at me. She sends out, oh, she blows her top. We can dodge that. Don't know what the stars are. She's got her little torpedo cannon, guys. She turns into a bull, and we need to avoid the bull's horns. That's kind of a universal truth. A cloud bull, sorry. So we'll avoid the cloud bull horns. <laughs> where, where are you going with this? Okay, there we go. Okay, second form down. So far, so good. I uh, got another, oh, okay, special attack. Ha <laughs> suck it. I feel like it hits her multiple times as it chews through her. So if I can get a really good special attack off, yeah, there we go, and, and we're dodging. I don't know what the stars are for. Little constellations that look like a little twin? Oh, it says what she becomes. She's now a twin. Ah, what do you mean machine gun black hole? <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a miss for the special attack as well, but, but, okay, we can, no, 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 no. 
Okay, tornado! <laughs> This game is so much fun. Okay, I feel like I'm doing much better. Uh, she's, she's got a headache. Oh God, she's losing her freaking mind. Just shoot her. That's good. She's a moon. She's the moon now. She's turned into an angry moon. That, uh, good night, moon. Oh my God, it's terrifying. Uh, no. What? How do I dodge this stuff? Okay. No, I got. I, I just need to focus on dodging. I can hold down on the gun and then just look at my plane and dodge all of the millions of things that are coming at my face, like the stars. I did it! Yes! No, no! Okay, you know, you can't kill me afterwards, right? Yeah, suck it, Moon, give me your soul. Oh. <laughs> this game feels really rewarding when you actually beat the hardest crap boss. That, that has to be worth an A, right? B minus? What's wrong with this teacher? I did it! Park that flag, give me those stairs, give me that contract. Hildeberg. <laughs> Fantastic. So now we can go down here. There's another run and gun level. There's a happy looking axe. What are you up to? Uh, what are you looking at? Yeah, my chip, haha. -ha. It's not my fault. I've been busy fighting off those casino debtors. Now I gotta save up to have my blade fixed. So help me. I wish someone would bust that King Dice one. Okay, so if I bust King Dice, I'll help you out somehow. Good to know. Um, can I go around here? Oh, I can. I just got an achievement for that too. Cutting corners. I haven't been getting any coins, so if I do the run and gun levels, I can get coins. And is this a run and gun level? The root pack in Botanic Panic. Okay, oh, it's another boss. Okay, I will try one more boss. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Oh, this was the one that I was really interested in because uh, th this was one of the first like enemies that they showed off when they were creating the game. There's a bunch of different vegetables that you have to fight and it's, it's classic, it's timeless. This is straight out of, ah, Mickey Mouse or Bugs Bunny or, <laughs> there you go, get out of here, Spud. Now who's next? Uh, oh, oh right, it's the crying onion. No, no onion, don't be sad. It's, a, oh no, okay, you need to get just blown up really quick right now because your tears are probably gonna hurt. Right, 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 uh, I don't know why some are different colors. It's probably not a good thing. Here you go, you're down, get peeled. And then we have, oh, the carrot. Right, okay, uh, we need to, no, 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 okay. This is gonna be a little bit complicated. What is he? Psychic carrot. Okay, that makes total sense. Let's just, uh, okay, need to remember that I can dodge. Always dodge. Remember what Piccolo always said. Dodge, dodge, dodge. I'm making way too many Dragon Ball Z references for one video, I am sorry. Uh, and then, uh -huh, and over here, you can't catch me, I'm Cuphead. Oh crap, this guy cannot have much left in him, right? Come on, there we go. He's, he's getting, mm, uh, <laughs> yes. I feel like that was the first boss that I was supposed to encounter. Ooh, that has to be an A, right? First try, minute 23. I, I did take a couple of hits. I don't know what parry means. B minus, I'm, I am just so done. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Cuphead, guys. And like I said, I am gonna play through this game one way or another. I'll hold off, I'll wait to see how this video does. If you guys are interested in seeing more, I don't know if I'm gonna do a full playthrough, but I might check out another episode with some more bosses and stuff like that. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, all that typical stuff. And if it does well enough, then I'll be sure to return. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.